Um, Daniela Bruce. Coach, I've asked you about this a little bit before, just how this team is able to bounce back after going on the road, losing four straight, playing well on Wednesday, and picking up a big win in what feels kind of like a must-win situation just to keep things on track. Can you comment on that again and how your team's been able to do that? Well, I think one, one part, to, to be able to bounce back, you have to have good players. Um, guys have to go out and make plays. And, and um, you know, I would say that certainly uh, uh, Nadalkovich was a big piece of that, and he's one of our players. And he went out and I think uh, played a great game. And that's kind of what you need, um, you know, when you're, when you start losing a little bit uh, and it happens fast in this league and it happens to really good teams, you lose your confidence a little bit, you play a little bit fragile. And um, I don't think we played fragile. I thought we did a good job of, of coming out and playing, um, but we did not play good enough defensively. And I thought Ned was excellent. And so then that allows you to kind of stay in the game and, and find a way to win in the end, which we did. Um, so, um, you know, I think uh, part of being able to, kind of quell that momentum that's going against you is, is really good players making uh, big time plays. And in, in the case on Wednesday night, I think a lot of that was our goalie. And uh, Saul, obviously a big part of your defense. Do you know if he'll be in tonight? Uh, he'll be a game time decision tonight. Okay. And then just lastly, um, Hockey Fights Cancer. It's always a big night. It's a big league initiative. What does it mean to you to play in this game? Well, I mean, obviously, uh, and I, actually, I guess I shouldn't say obviously, um, you know, because that kind of makes it seem um like it's it, it it happens so much that i don't think any of us should get callous to it and and so i shouldn't say obviously um it just hits so many people and and you know there's not anybody i don't think that walks this earth that isn't touched uh in some way shape or form in a negative way by cancer and, and um um, you know, certainly uh, I've been fortunate in my life uh, that those immediately uh, around me have, have been pretty healthy. Um, but, uh, you know, it's only one layer past that, that um, people I care about deeply uh, have, have had to go through some incredible hardships. And, uh, um, you know, people that are good friends of mine have had to go through incredible hardships and, and a lot of people suffer great loss. So, um you know, I, I think it is important to have nights like this. Uh, I think it is important to have uh, times where you uh, draw attention to, to say, um, let's let's make sure we stay uh, stay on top of this fight and and not uh, let it become just something that happens and and keep fighting and making sure that um, you know uh, we've been in, uh, unbelievable as mankind, finding ways to to be innovative and let's find a way to beat it. Trevor Thompson. Flash, what's the status for Valeno and DeKaiser tonight? Uh, both will be unavailable tonight. Uh, DK is still in uh, COVID protocol, and uh, Joe is not uh, not not uh, ready to play. Looking back at your last game against Buffalo, what did they do that presented a challenge uh, that you'll have to continue to contend with here tonight? Well, I'd start by the fact that they play hard. Um, they're very, very well coached by by Don Granado. He's an excellent coach, and, and he's a he's a uh, person who I think uh, players want to play extremely hard for, and they do that. They play really hard. Um, you know, they've been a resilient team. They've gone through ups and downs and continue to, to fight like crazy. They've suffered uh, injuries. Um, you know, obviously, um, you know, one of their goaltenders has been out for a while here. Um, they're, they're a good team in the offensive zone. Uh, they, they do a good job in transition. You know, they created uh, a two on one early in the game against Montreal and weren't able to capitalize on it uh, last game, but they're a good team in transition. So, um, you know, they've got a number of, of good young players in their lineup. Uh, so, you know, it, it's like every night in this league, it'll be a hard challenge. Um, and we're going to be on top of our game. You've really played well at home so far this year. What have you liked about the way you played at home and how have you been able to take advantage of your home ice? Yeah, I would say I would say the energy, you know, I think the energy that we've played with at home has been excellent. I, I would uh, uh, put a large part of that uh, with the atmosphere in the building has been excellent. Um, I think the crowd has, has totally energized their team. I think our crowd has been awesome. I think the building's awesome. I think the atmosphere is awesome. Those that haven't uh, been down here should get down here because it's been incredible. And, and I think, um, you know, it's really creating a, a hard uh, an environment that's hard to play in for the opponent. And, and um, so I think our energy level at home has probably been the biggest factor uh, to our success. Um, you know, we've had, I think, been extremely competitive, um, uh, played at that high energy. Um, we haven't always been perfect by any stretch. we got to get better in a lot of areas, but, but it's allowed us to win a lot of games or a good number of games at home. 
Carly Johnson. Uh, what did you see on Wednesday night's game that you're hoping that will roll over into tonight's game? Uh, you know, let's probably start again with, uh, with, with our goaltending. I think, I think that was the biggest factor in the win ultimately. Um, I thought, I thought, um, we weren't good enough defensively in areas that we want to get better at, but, you know, I have felt that we had two days of practice now that I think, uh, we, we've improved over those two days. You know, when I walk off the days in practice, I want to feel good that we got better. And I think we did, um, in the two days on Thanksgiving day and on Friday, um, you know, I, I, I think uh, I, I thought uh, uh, Bertuzzi uh, was really, really good, kind of back to where he'd been through lots of the year. Um, you know, Larks, that line was good. So I think that's a, a real positive. Um, you know, so we just need we just need guys to continue to uh, try to bring their A game. It's not easy for 82, but the more guys that can bring their A game tonight, uh, the better position we'll be in to win. You mentioned Bertuzzi playing like, You've never seen him before, and he was just injured. We were talking about Fabry when he's, you know, been played with injuries mm -hmm. and playing like you're not scared to play and get mm -hmm. hurt again. Mm -hmm. That's something we've seen out of Bertuzzi. So, can you talk to that a little bit about how he's been playing? Yeah, you know, I think Bert, um, I think again, you know, one of the things that comes, you know, in Fab's case, it was multiple, multiple injuries. But one of the things that happens, I think, when, you, when you're hurt is, is you've got to come back and kind of get past that. Uh, you know, Lark's talked about it in the preseason, kind of get past that uh, that Ricky Bobby moment where you're just kind of, you know, making, you know, playing a little bit cautious, I guess. And uh, to Bert's credit, I haven't seen that. I really haven't seen it all year. Um, you know, I think for Bert to be a, a really good player, he's got to play extraordinarily hard. Um, he's got to sacrifice his body to win puck battles. Uh, I think one of the things that makes Bert special uh, is that he can win tons of puck battles, especially for a guy that's not a natural skater. Um, and to do that, you got to sacrifice your body. And he's, to me, done that on a consistent basis uh, every night. That's it for us this morning. Thanks, everyone.